It's T, and today is September 21st, 2018, and we're at the MQX show. And I just thought that I would share a few quotes with you. May not show a lot because I may not be walking the entire show because of my knee. Just wanted to put that disclaimer in in a case it comes true. But right now, we decided to start at the back of the show. So we are at the wall hanging small quilt by the Gadget Girl. kind of looks different yeah yeah the fabrics all look different and i'm here again with viola and debbie so you'll be hearing them Hi. give their opinions <laughs> as well as we walk this show yes wow oh like look at show. this this is beautiful yeah beautiful these squares or I want to say about three eighths of an inch, maybe a half inch, maybe they're a half inch, but they are super tiny, and the quilting is awesome as well. Got little sparkles in it here and there. Very nice. But it's different colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Viola, I just thought about your friend last year. Uh -huh. Saw you in my video. Uh, oh, the okay. one that came to the guild. And right, two, I think right. it was two years ago. Uh, she says I was well, like, was last year. she like, and she in my, she in the video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you brought her to the guild. Like that was pretty cool. <laughs> This one is called the Flower of Life. <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful alphabet quilt. Beautiful. It's Janet Stone's 2014 block of the month for the quilt show. Very beautiful. Just beautiful.
the back end of the kids can quilt. This is Brianna Taylor. This is Navaya Taylor. She's beautiful. Austin Thornton. This is Brittany Gable. It's beautiful. And she has a B she quilted in here. This one is Roland Webster. And we have Bria Beckman. Lydia Crunk. This one is Connie Deal. It's beautiful. Love her 3D cubes. Olivia Jails or Olivia Hiles. Beautiful, beautiful. Back to this stall in just a second. This one is by Tara Armas. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. We've got a beautiful mosaic turtle. And it's by Sophia. Joss. Beautiful. And this one's by Faith Rapp. Go back this way. I'll get this last one. So here we have Margaret Margot Boyd. Margot Boyd. Beautiful. It's got sparkles all in it. 
And here we have Nora Coombs who has third place. And she is actually from um, the granddaughter of one of my quilting friends who's in my quilt gill and my scrap quilting club. So congratulations, Nora. And we have second place here is Charlie Duggan. Very pretty. I had a book a long time ago that had this pattern in it. I cannot find it. It had very easy quilts you can make for children, but children can also make them. And this one is by Trip Coons. He's got the Mentor Award and also Jane's grandchild, grandson. Very beautiful. It's a jelly roll race with the border. Very pretty. And he also got first place in Kids Can Quilt as well. Congratulations, Trip. Go back to this section that I missed. None of my kids. We got Judge, Judge's Choice for A1 Quilting Machines. That's sponsored by A1 Quilting Machine. Goes to Malia Cooper. It's beautiful quilt. Let's see what this ribbon is. It's the Judge's Choice ribbon, the orange one. Very gorgeous. Oh, I love those eyes, especially through the camera. Beautiful. <laughs> Just beautiful. It's like it's been painted more than fabric. It looks like a painted quilt. It says, I made this quilt for my 4-H project and showed it at the Clay County, Illinois Fair. I love how the cat looks so realistic. I have fun piecing this, but really I enjoy quilting it. I quilted the cat to look like fur, and I love how that turned out. Very nice. This one is from Hayden Ledbetter. Very nice. Love the striking contrast of light and dark. And the last one in this aisle, I'm assuming for the show, is Mia Gibbons. Just beautiful. So we're going to go to another aisle. a lot of empty spaces this show the hallway does not have quilts as well so I am wondering about that it looks like the show is smaller this time around this is the Gina Perks collection this quilt is beautiful it's a lot of beautiful quilts I've seen as I was walking to the back but this is gorgeous Show you just a little bit of the close up. Just beautiful. Just beautiful work. I have a wedding ring quilt, my circle of life. It looks like the one from. Judy Martins, where she did the rainbow quilts we did in Scrap Quilting Club. Yes, of course it is, because it's Jane Coon's quilt. She was, it was pieced by Sharon Sharp and quilted by Jane Coons. That's why it looks familiar. Very nice. And we have a judge's award by Scott Merkin goes to Stephanie really two degrees Celsius is the name of this quote it's beautiful yeah. 
Wow, just look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Whole lot of awesomeness in this quilt. Look like it might be machine embroidery. Let's see if I can find the pattern for you. The Sarah Vettler pattern from McCall Quilting Magazine. Very nice, beautiful. We have some bunnies. <laughs> This is part of the Gina Perkins collection again. Got some one inch half square triangles here. Beautiful quilting. Feathered star. Very nice. Gina Perkins collection again. Beautiful work. Gina Perkins again. Beautiful. Have a trip around the world here. And a Lemoyne star of some sort. Beautiful. And they call it Kilawa Campus, I guess. I don't know how to say that. Very beautiful, though. <laughs> This is actually the back of a quilt. I'll go around and show you the front. <laughs> wow. Has third place ribbon on it. It's called Snaptic Relapse. Beautiful. By Christine and, it's, and pieced by her as well, so very nice, beautiful. beautiful. Back to the Gina Perkins collection. Maybe you are searching among the branches for what only appears in the roots. Love it. Her heart says... Beautiful. Another one, whoops, <laughs> the Jana Perkins collection. It's called Silken Defiance. And this is the one that I miss called Stars of the Sea.
Dollar Steel, the Jana Perkins collection. This is complimentary. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love orange and blue as complimentary colors. I use it in my scrapbooking a lot. Raspberry Tuffle. on this side where I was doing more computerized machine embroidery and this is second place it's beautiful and this must be first placed here it's called stars and his crown by Marilyn Lidstrom Larson Beautiful. This is first place for hands on hand dyes. Beautiful. <laughs> I think my camera has been on a little over 20 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off and just restart for another session. The snow and ice dyed Mandela challenge. This one won second place. They it's almost like a whole clock. Mm -hmm. In each square. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. And she did different things in different squares too. <laughs> and then I'm going to be crossing sides and we're going to be seeing the custom heirloom show sponsored by Gamma Machines as well. So this is first place. The AEIOs use, <laughs> and uh, it's by Janet Stone in Kansas. One first place. Just beautiful work again. Is it machine embroidery? I don't know if it's machine embroidery, but it's gorgeous. Very nice. And this one is second place. Just gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful. Over there. <laughs> the border. Oh, in the peace border. Oh my gosh. Hand Hand wow. That's a lot. And this one won third place in the heirloom category. And this is where she was talking about all of these clamshells. So over 1,400 hand applique clamshells. Machine PCN domestic machine quilting. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. It's a lot. <laughs> and it's a pretty cool sampler too. Just gorgeous. And I love her using this rust colored brown red background. Rust colored red background. Beautiful. Now we're back into the snow dyes. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what quilting is on it. Another alphabet quilt, A to Z with you and me, very nice. And it's a miniature of the other one that we saw. And let's see where this pattern is, if it's mentioned. A to Z with you and me is a pattern by Janice Stone. Karen loves to do hand applique along with her precision piecing which allows me to create the quilting to add inches and complete our fabulous quilt tops. So this is a combo. Very pretty. I love it, I love it, I love it. Going to have to look that pattern up though. <laughs> This is a faculty award. It's called Oak Reels and Lilies. Another faculty award winner, Shades of Spring. Is he interested in this time? He likes visits too. Another faculty award winner, 49 Shades of Grey. It's beautiful. Quilting is awesome. This machine is for baby's crib. Thank you. 
Pretty. I've made this block before, but it is gorgeous. Made this size. Look at that. Look at these. Dot Almighty. Look at, look here, look at, look at the people. They're worshiping. <coughs> That's uh, in the Egyptian. Well, we missed one quilt in that aisle. <laughs> it's called Dottie's Party. So all dots are used in this. I remember this category going up and I was going to submit my When Life is Scrappy quilt. But it was too large for the category. Very nice. Bed quilt over here. This category is edge to edge hand guided. This is Kevin quilt from Troy, Missouri. And this is Marcia Barron's. And Kevin Hoffman is the pattern designer. He did this as a mystery quilt. It's beautiful. Love the quilting, which was done by herself as well. So pieced and quilted by her. Very nice. Beautiful. And it fits just perfectly. No extra hang. So beautiful. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> this is part of the dotty dot. It's a very subtle dot pattern on this one. And then another one. Beautiful. quilt here has a snowball as a setting block. This quilt won third place in the edge to edge hand guided. Beautiful. So here is your block. It's the pickle dish. Just beautiful. More dots. <laughs> this one's called Lots of Dots. <laughs> oh, this one's cute. <laughs> Little kitty cats. This one is honorable mention. Back of this quilt. This one is second place. It's 
beautiful too. Falling into place, edge to edge, Kathy Rich. And this is first place, my Linda Thalefort. I wonder if she had the ice Beautiful. And now we're getting into second place for your dot quilts. Robin Gray, Sparkling Cider. And third place, Dots and Dashes by... Leslie McSorley, beautiful. <laughs> and we've got first place outside. I've already showed you where we, no I didn't, I thought I did. Beautiful work here, this Nautilus by Katherine Jones. Beautiful though. Those look like sequins or crystals or beading, but it's all hand applique circles in various sizes this tiny one is like a quarter of an inch but beautiful to boldly go by Clem Buswick And then over here, have solo artist AMB with Inova. So we're just going to be crossing back and forth. And then she's got like the penny red scallops. It's pretty cool. And this is like one eighth of an inch. Can't get it to focus, but this one reminds me one eighth of an inch on the side. Yeah, go boldly exhibit. The girls go west. <laughs> Saturday morning shampoo sets. <laughs> She's got a great sense of humor. Love it. Looks like it's got those masks that you hold in there. Oh, yeah. Sure. This is third place. Culture's Dream in Technicolor. Beautiful.
This was quilted and then painted or used markers. Let's see what her technique is. 16 So this is a painting from a green pencil that matched perfectly. I was gonna say something. <laughs> Let's go see what's I think this is the quilters in Technicolor, yes. So we saw this one. This one here is beautiful. The three Dness of it. Let's go see. It is. Yeah. It's all of this. No, the same. Mm -hmm. That looks like the same person at different, at different sizes. No. No. Okay. Look at the eye. They're yeah. different. Okay. They're different. Yeah. Ooh, put your... I'm sorry. You okay? <laughs> you don't beautiful want to knock quilting. Yeah. It's <laughs> beautiful. So. Mm -hmm. Beautiful sample of quilt. Gorgeous, gorgeous. See if there's a pattern for this one. So this piece from a 10 year accumulation of her scraps, leftover experiments and oddballs. Well, this is a beautiful, beautiful sampler quilt. Gorgeous, gorgeous. She also has a faculty award. Another gorgeous eye-catching quilt. Beautiful. Oh God. Oh, this is cute. <laughs> All ugly sweaters <laughs> and she did not leave out the quilted sweater <laughs> very nice JP and R the Beatles very nice JP G and R ladies or two of the ladies at my quilt guild was working on this at the quilt retreat in February so it's great to see it name of the pattern is Sasquatches pattern by Elizabeth Hartman and this one here beautiful it's nice to see a pastel pink sampler. I don't think I've ever come across one before, but the black and white makes it very bold. Beautiful. Machine 
put in the modern way. And the category on the other side is emerging entrance. So I guess this is their first time in the show. I'm not really sure about that. But it's beautiful work. Oh, I know what the back of this is. This is the back of Galen's Quilter's Graffiti Quilt or alphabet graffiti, whichever it's called. <laughs> Virgin entry. And that's a pretty bold quilt right there. It had the photographer's choice award. And that's Let's see cultures. Let's see what it's called. It doesn't have the name, but it's either Cultures Graffiti or Cultures Alphabet. I can't remember. I think it's graffiti. But it's beautiful. <laughs> that girls get on top if he dies he dies okay <laughs> beautiful beautiful here's a nice crumb quilt they use some of the background fabrics in the crumb blocks and made them look like shapes. Pretty cool. Great idea. It also won the faculty award. This is uh, the machine quilting the modern way. And this is the back of a quilt. My kind of quilt. I love churn dash blocks. Beautiful, beautiful. And ties are beautiful. And it's called Grandpa's Ties. I saw a quilt in the Gamble newsletter. The ties in this random range from 1970 to present, which belongs to my brother and my uncle. Very nice. And then this wool piece here onto a regular cotton back. And this is the front of my churn dash quilt. Beautiful, beautiful. It won, let's see, honorable mention. She says, stop and smell the flowers. It's a pattern by Denise Russert. And throughout the collaboration of three spectacular ladies named Denise Russert, the pattern, Dory Husker, the quilting, and myself, Linda Manga, this quilt burst into bloom. Machine quilted 100% hand guided. Beautiful. Show you the texture. Just gorgeous. I've either seen this pattern or got this pattern. Maybe it's in a book. But it's beautiful. See, this pattern is light, lollipop trees. Very nice. It's 
one has third place for emerging entrance. Beautiful work. This is second place. And this is first place, all for emerging entrance. Love the log cabin scallop border. They are about three quarters of an inch wide. And then we have these quilts here that I'm going to skip. The domestic machine and just did wavy green lines up here because I couldn't get into it any other way. It says custom our daily bed. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to walk down this side and then walk back up. Another trip around the world. Love this fabric. And they did like a one wonder kit. My battery is deciding to die at this point. It's flashing, so if I disappear, you know why. This is a faculty award. And here is Best of Show, which was sponsored by Gamo. $2,500 cash prize. Best machine quilting stand up. Beautiful. So much going on here. And this is the Best of Show award. And it is just beautiful. That's the entire quilt. Beautiful. Trying to get through this aisle before I have to stop and change my battery. So it's going to be quick. Excuse me. Another one wonder quilt. Little small hexies. Estimate about three fourths of an inch on the side to maybe a half inch, but I'm thinking three quarter. Beautiful sampler quilt. Yes, yes, she said she ordered Beautiful. Let me just step around. Siren Song is a pattern of Splendor Sampler curated by Pat Sloan and Jane Davis in 2015-16. Beautiful. This quote here, one third place. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Way to use up your scraps. It reminds me of an Iowa star pattern. So let's see. Yep, designed by Cynthia Starry Dranga of Iowa Star Designs. Over years, I accumulated large, colorful stash of scraps, so I decided to put it to good use. Beautiful, beautiful work. Didn't win an award, but at least, Cynthia, I know your quilts when I see them. Beautiful. Yeah, they end up too much. And then we have. Illinois quilt here and it has a little stand that tells you what everything means is awesome it's got all of the counties embroidered awesome 
Very nice. Oh, I'm assuming those are the counties. <laughs> last section and I'm just going to scan really quickly because my camera is done so I will see you with the quilts that are in the vending area so we are in the section best sit down machine quilting wall hanging pictorial This is the back side of that quilt. Beautiful thread play. Second place quilt. And here's third place. Over here is one hanging large category. Beautiful, beautiful work. This is honorable mention. This is second place. Beautiful. Best use of thread. This is first place. Best use of thread. It's, it's the same thing. It's still stack and whack. I know. She just wanted to be different. And then she offset with. Uh, it's still stacking whack. <laughs> and this is just called a one block wonder because they just said it this way, but it's still stacking whack. Mm -hmm. That's pretty. That's very pretty. I haven't bought one yet because I'm sure it's scary. What? To do that? Well, I'm good enough to do that, yeah. That or that? Yes. No. Oh, yeah. That's a oh. panel. Oh. That's a pre-printed panel. Oh, wow. With the colors. It's a whole thing. Mm -hmm. cool. Everybody need oh. to enter next year. Mm -hmm. All of these. Oh, that's just cute gondola. Look like he's coming up on the beach to lay, she rather, to lay her eggs.
<laughs> you were so serious looking doing it. <laughs> like she's got to get her picture. Ooh. Uh, isn't that Tim? I don't know if it's I Ricky think that's, Tim. That's Ricky Tim. I think that's even him. It's a good pictorial quilt. <laughs> Let's see. This is somebody else's photo, so I don't know who it is, but it's beautiful. And I love the lime glasses. <laughs> This is stitched with tulle on the top. Well, tulle underneath and the stitching on top, rather. Pretty cool. Girl, get out of my way. Get out of my way. She's so rude. She just talked so bad to me. <laughs> I tried. Hexagon sampler. <coughs> Ampersign. All thread work. That's beautiful. And can't take good pictures. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't taken a one. <laughs> Just video it. <laughs> Make it easier. <laughs> wow, that's the back of a quilt. Mm -hmm. We have quilts back here. Huh? Whole road nothing. <laughs> we, Debbie, we are gonna submit like 10 to, 10 or 20 quilts next year. That's what we need to do. We just take over the show. Oh, that's something else. Um, it was discussed that we're gonna limit the amount of large quilts. Well, they do that every year. I said, you know, you put a limit on before uh, the deadline, you're not going to have anybody submit any quotes. And then we're going to have an empty show. I, at, at one point it was three, so I never submit more than three large. And then I had to take one out, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's what you do. Well, I suggested that you rate them. You know, um, according to your prerogative which one you want in the show most and that's what and I that, did you know and I um, just pulled the one out this is the I, MQX I staff I, exhibit it's going to be out of my hands after I'm serious when those forms start going out I think that's going to be Kathy and um, Nancy no is this the triangle on yeah. What triangle? Um, it was like you cut a triangle into strips and then you, you put, put it back together in that you formation. You cut a trirex into strips. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I was talking about. Thank you. I just made this quilt using scrappy half square triangle, so to see it again is awesome. This is one of those that I said you can take any half square triangles and put them into a log cabin setting. Very pretty. Nice sampler quilt. 
get some interesting quilting in places as well. Some of them blend in. Very pretty. Very pretty quilt. Love the colors too. Little side houses. And I think this is the last aisle. So this is preserving the dream. This piece is inspired by wolf and dream catcher tattoos. My life has taken some serious twists in the last few years. The new medium symbolizes new beginnings while the wolf guards my dreams, showing that they aren't lost through my life changes. Quilting is 100% hand guided. Very nice. One hundred percent hand guided. This is one hundred percent hand guided. One first place. Okay. So we have decorated denim here. She has something along the sides has prairie points out on the seams it's just very nice <laughs> and I'm not sure if she made her denims from scratch or if she just decorated a pair but they look like they're made from scratch denim yes they are it's Vogue pattern 1204 very nice and then this is the jacket goes with that. It's just beautiful. <laughs> and that one was second place. This is third. Oh, okay. It's got It's beautiful. That is actually it for this show. It was a small show. I didn't show the vendors because I don't want to show their booths, but I just wanted to share what we saw. So I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Okay.